We have a representative from Sonocraft Corporation here to talk to us regarding new technology. Let's welcome Al de Blasi from Sonocraft. Hi, Gladys. Hi. He's the director of the computer division. Right. Could you tell us a little bit about the brand new machines that you brought here today, about their names, Lisa and Mac, which are unusual <laughs> to begin with, as well as what they can do? Well, the whole thing with, with the Lisa product line is that it's very, very easy to use. Lisa works the way you do at your desk. The machine kind of simulates uh, your desktop in that environment, and it provides a natural interface, a natural uh, method of doing things for the person using the machine. Um, Apple has done a lot of extensive testing, and a person can get to use the Lisa and master its basic functions within 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, so it's a real breakthrough, and we're really excited about it. I think it's a breakthrough for people like uh, school people who normally would be hesitant to go into learning about computers because we felt that it was something for technicians to be doing and not uh, people that are working with normally their mind and their hands and with paper and pencil. Well, I, well, I agree. Well, people that are in a school environment or any environment, they shouldn't have to know how to use a computer. They should just do it, you know, so they can get their work done. They're, they're meant to be as productivity tools so they can uh, spend more time being productive at what they're good at and not learning how to use a computer. I totally agree with that statement. Could you show us the machine and, what, and what the Lisa can do? I'd love to. Okay, let's go. Here we are sitting in front of the Lisa 2. Al, could you tell us a little bit about the hardware? Sure. The, uh, this is the Lisa 2.5 system. The box on the top is the storage device, the hard disk drive. This is the Lisa itself. I have an area here for a uh, new Sony 3.5 inch floppy disk. Here is what the disk looks like. This little diskette will hold 400,000 typed characters of information. The hard disk will hold 5 million. Here's my keyboard, which has a coiled cord so I can put it in my lap. And to the right of me is the most in innovative thing of Lisa, the mouse. The mouse is a pointing device. What the mouse really is, it's an upside-down trackball. There's a small ball on the bottom of the mouse, and when we roll the mouse on the table, it moves a pointer on the screen, and that arrow is my pointer that's attached to the mouse. Now, what we're looking at here is my desktop that Lisa is simulating. Okay, these small pictures on the screen are called icons. They're things that I can identify with by looking at them. I have, for example, a picture of a, a clock and a calculator and a garbage pail and some documents. Over on the top, this is called a pull-down menu. What I do is I point to the word, I hold down the mouse button, and then I pull down to the option that I wish to do. Okay, for example, since Lisa simulates my desk, I can take these icons and I can move them around and kind of make things sloppy on my desk. Okay. And you're moving them around by, by pressing the button on the mouse. All I do is I, I point to the icon and then I click the button down and I can move an icon around. See how I'm moving these? What I can do now, since my desk is nice and sloppy, I can go up to the housekeeping pull-down menu. I can pull down to the word straighten up icons and when I release it, Lisa's going to straighten up my desk. Since Lisa simulates the desk, I can put common desktop tools on the desk. For example, I can put this clock on my desk. If you notice in the top right-hand corner, a clock is being prepared. And I can put a calculator on my desk as well. I'll just point to the calculator and I'll click on it and it will open it up. So here's my clock and calculator. And now you could actually use it as a normal use it as a calculator. Sure.